yes hello everyone welcome to your chemistry classroom i am lawa ladetunji your chemistry tutor as we have all known that uh, chemistry will be written tomorrow in this ongoing neco 2025 and as we have known our platform estimate of Adetunji, that we are here to supply you any information we receive and we work it together as revision in our classroom so on your screen right now you can see question six that is we are you know in your chemistry you are going to answer maybe four questions which i believe this one will be one of the questions by god's grace i think this one will be one of the things. let me just say, let me just let me just say that this one uh, this is a possible a likely question we may see tomorrow all right without wasting time on your screen we'll start solving this question please do where to press the subscribe button turn on the notification button press your like and share button and put your comment in the comment box please share this link with your friends that are writing a code that are writing chemistry tomorrow because as i'm speaking right now videos will be released on all the possible chemistry questions till tomorrow morning so what are we need from you just turn on the notification button as we are releasing video you are the one watching it and make sure you try to watch the video very well don't skip any part watch from beginning to the end you are doing writing exam tomorrow so this is a classroom we are here to revise together now this is a question we have with us presently um we're out of many we are that, that is correct now we are solving this after this one we'll solve another question so what i need from you is just to concentrate pick up your pen and bio pick up your pen and book and let's start solving it together now you can see my the question you can see the paper i want to be using to solve it uh, i want to be using to solve the questions so we are starting from question six we are solving all the possible questions so here we have question six here we want to start solving and let's start solving together the first question said using chemical equation only distinguish between 18 and a time all of us know that when you talk about 18 the formula for 18 is c2h4 why that of ethane is what let me divide my book so that we'll be able to enjoy it so you know that ethane or oh, sorry ethane is c2h4 and the ethane is um, c2h2 so to now have chemical equation to separate the two we can have two chemical equations we can have the following chemical equations to separate the number one and use uh bro2 that is bromine or you call it anyhow you call it we can use bromine we can also use silver and we can use ammonia silver nitrate that can also call the tooling uh reagents so here how we prefer to use um bromine i want to use bromine to separate or to differentiate the equation so i'm picking the first one which is a t c2 h4 plus br2 you know bromine belongs to group seven and from there i'll be having c2 h4 br2 and if you are if talking about the name the name is one two one two dibromo one two dibromo ethane but let's talk what about the for ethane how would the equation look like c2 h2 plus br2 to have the balance equation i'll be having c2 h2 br2 definitely i need to put uh, i need to balance so there's a br2 sorry br4 so in that situation uh, we have this so this one i can say one one two two you can call it one one two two tetra bromo tetra bromo ethane tetra bromo ethane i believe you can see that i think with that i have answered question one a remember i told i'm sorry i first question six a one remember i told you, you can also use <coughs> ammoniaca silver nitrate dicotylene reagent but here i'm using this one and i don't want us to waste time i want you to enjoy it i like one not to be too long they say you should name the compound form when ethane polymerizes that is polymerization product or the polymer of ethane that one is very simple the answer is polyacetylene 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 that's the answer polyacetylene polyacetylene is the answer and uh, what's the next question they said um, you should 
write the structure of the compound you should draw the compound you should draw the compound in a2 that you want you to draw poly as a link you will see that one on your screen All right, um, I move to B1. They say what we what will be observed when failing solution is added to reducing sugar, when million reagents is added to protein, when sodium metal is dropped into a baker containing ethanoic acid. Let's do it one after the other. After we have seen that diagram for B1, so I go to I mean for A for A3. So I'm not going to B1. So for issue of failing solution, when what are we going to observe when we add failing solution to any reducing sugar? What are we going to experience? We are going to see a brick red. We are going to see a brick red. This is not a practical class I will have shown us, but it will show us a brick red. As I can see, a brick red precipitate is formed. A brick red precipitate is formed. That's what I can say concerning that. And for the issue of number two, I'm very fast. I don't want this video to be too long because we, want, we have a lot of questions we want to solve. Uh, millions reagent is added to protein. When you add millions reagent to protein, what do you experience? You also experience something like that for the first one. That is, in this situation, we are going to have, uh, have red, a red solution. If you like, call it precipitate. It's still the same thing. A red solution. If you like call it resolution, if you like call it say a red precipitate is formed. A red precipitate is formed. A red precipitate is formed. And for the question three, they said that um, sodium metal is dropped into a beaker containing ethanol. You also know that whenever you have sodium reacting with ethanol, there must be F efficient because you have gas. That would be F efficient that the F efficient or cause. F efficient or cause. What again can happen? In case you don't want to write F efficient or cause, what again can you write? You can say colorless solution. Colorless solution. Colorless solution of sodium ethoxide. Of sodium ethoxide. Please don't skip any part. I don't want to write an exam. That's the reason why we are making this a classroom. We are revising together. Put your comment in the comment box in case you have any observation or you observe something like uh, maybe omission or you want us to add to it. Is a classroom. It's formed. All right. Um, I think we have settled that uh, 6B1. Now let's go to 6B2. A question on solubility. They say calculate solubility in more per DM cube of 4.9 gram of KClO3 in 20 cm cube of water at 66 degrees Celsius. And they gave us the atomic masses of potassium, chlorine, and oxygen. Now, let me tell you something. Anytime you are dealing with solubility, and solubility, whether in mole per DMQ or gram per DMQ, you don't have any business with the temperature. Since when, as long as it is not a graph, you don't have any business with tem this temperature. Your mission is the value in gram and the one in CMQ, and likewise the atomic masses. So here we go to solve B2. So what are the given parameters? We are given the mass of KClO3 as 4.9 uh, gram and they give us a volume of water which we are, we are to convert to we we'll convert it to dm cube we we'll convert that one to dm cube so 20 centimeter cube that is divided by 1000 that one will give us zero point uh, what's now let's see that should be give us 0 0.02 dm cube here also you can press the calculator please do also and put your answer in the comment box don't let me be the only one doing we are doing together we are learning together please let's also put your answer in the comment box i love those people that we did the practical together there are some vibration they are dropping it so that's it all right so in that situation now we can bring we can come with solubility in gram per dm cube which will be uh, 4.9 over 0 0.02. What will that one give to us? Let me press my calculator. Yes, to press my calculator, 4.9, 4.9 over 
4.9 divided by 0 0.02 I think sorry I didn't press very well 4.9 you also can press your own and put your answer in the comment box so I got 245 I got 245 I got 245 that's what I got is it true that's what I got really I got four I got 245 gram per dm cube so now to find the solubility in more per dm cube that one will be solubility in gram per dm cube in gram per dm cube over molar mass of kclo3 now this molar mass of kclo3 we can work it out molar mass of kclo3 we can work it out that is uh, we know they gave us k as 39 that is 39 plus 35.5 plus uh, which one again 16 times 3 if you can do that one very well let me just start on this note 16 times 3 that's 48 48 answer plus 35.5 plus 39 i have one two two one two two point five gram per mole so finally now you know i have gotten my mass concentration got my molar mass i'll put it together according to this formula i will now say uh, 245 over 122.5 and let's do that together 245 divided by 122.5 also you can see my calculator and the answer is what I got 2 so that is I will say 2 point maybe 2 decimal or 3 decimal or ordinary and you call it you still get your answer more per DMQ I think we've said to that we don't need to waste time please uh, we move to the characteristics. The C1 says the characteristics. I mean, sorry, the physical properties of ethanol. You also know that. Are you okay? Put the answer in your comment box. All the physical properties of ethanol that you know. Physical properties. I will be mentioning them. I only write few. You know, that when you talk about ethanol, what can you notice about ethanol? Physical properties of ethanol. What do you notice? You know, about the colorless sweet taste. I'll be saying it. We have colorless sweet taste. You know aqua now aqua sweet taste what about the boiling point boiling point is what the boiling point is what the boiling point is 78 or approximately 78.5 degrees Celsius what about the melting point the melting point the melting point is uh, the melting point is negative numbers that is minus 114 degrees Celsius what again can we say about it it dissolves in what? It dissolves in organic solvents. That it is, it is soluble. Let me use that statement. Soluble. It is soluble in organic solvents. When I say organic solvent, what do I mean by organic solvent? Example of organic solvent. Ether. Ether. Organic solvent. Example of organic solvent that is ether. The essay should mention three. I'm mentioning four. Let me find one or two to it. Highly flammable. Highly flammable. Highly flammable, highly volatile. You know now your metallic spirits. Highly flammable, highly volatile. Let me stop there, please. Now they said you should write the equation for the chemical. Write equations for the preparation of ethanol from eating. You know that whenever I want to prepare ethanol from eating, that is hydration. That's for first one. That one. That one is hydration. The process is hydration. So how would the equation look like? That is C2H4 uh, plus H2O. In the presence of H3PO4 as catalyst to give us C2H5OH. That is the equation. And think we are, we are done with uh, C2. I can go to D1. They said you should mention two uses of sodium trisocarbonate 4. Uses of sodium trisocarbonate 4. You also, since you, are, you know that sodium is the soap, that is making soap, making soap or detergents, making soap or detergents doesn't stop there making soap or detergents what again making glass you can use to make glass making glass <clears throat> making even we can make chemical like you can make making chemical like sodium hydroxide you can also produce sodium hydroxide from it 
baking chemical like uh, sodium hydroxide NaOH they said should mention two but let me take it to four or five you can use to make paper you can also use the tester industry your clothes you can also use sodium carbonate tester industry i think i can go to the last question for this question if i move to the next question i'll go to question one all right state three properties of transition element you also you know transition element very well they are very stubborn they are very hard so properties of transition elements you know who they are that is the we have high, high melting points you know they need to have that so properties of transition elements don't mind my right i'm managing the book but i can i believe you can hear me that's why this is i say it's a classroom you also pick up your book paper or pull book and pen you also you write you can hear the voice as well you are doing it together celebration this efficient period so uh, what are the properties i said they have high melting and boiling point the first one high melting and boiling points high melting and boiling point you know they are very hard that's why two what thing can we say about them they are hard like i said hard and dense hard and dense that is they are very massive hard and dense what again can we say about they are good conductors of heat and electricity good conductors of heat and electricity please make sure you watch the video from beginning to the end like i always say and don't and turn on the question button because we are solving all the possible and likely question after this question see i'm going to question number one and like that that's how we are moving good conductor of heat and electricity it's raining here in case you can hear my voice clearly and what can we say it is malibu malibu and doctor malibu and doctor lustrous can shine 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 lustrous shiny i think with what i have done right now we have set with question number six we have set all question number six this is the question and this is the answer i and you will supply together thank you so much We'll continue in case the video is too long you just switch to the next video you make sure it's still on that same channel switch to the next video because i don't want the video to be getting too long so that you know will not be boring 